spillard safety systems have been providing visibility aids for 30 years. Um, the, the, the systems that we've been providing us are, are as basic as convex mirrors through to object detection and camera systems. Through carrying out visibility studies, we see the need for us to warn the operators of an actual human that was entering the, the blind spot of the machine. So working with our manufacturers for the last 18 months, we've come up with a artificial intelligence camera that will actually detect the human form. And then developing further, we've, we've took the system to give the operators a system that they can rely on to be able to give them information about the surroundings to see where a person is encroaching into the danger zone. To tie up with Flannery gives us a real world scenario where we can actually put the machines to use and actually get good feedback from, from respected companies that actually tell us the information that we need and whether we need to change something or whether we need to redevelop or it, it pushes us in the right direction of how to get the information and to how to get product that is safe. What we've had previously is object detection where it could be a radar or a ultrasonic device that actually only dete or detects anything. It detects anything from street furniture through to bollards through to other machines. What we need to do is take away the false detections. A false detection is a piece of street furniture. What we want to detect is the actual person that is in the danger zone, the person that, is, that, that could we could end a life if it got too close or was it ignored or not seen. We've also got a live platform that connects our technologies. So what we actually see is more and more technology being connected through a platform so that we give an independent platform that takes all sorts of data that will then provide data back to companies like Flannery's to make it safer. It's not just about independent companies like ourselves, it's about taking every piece of data to be able to make the machine safer. So what we see is, is a network of all sorts of different devices to make the site safer. So with, with the human detection, we're now being able to give video evidence of detections within the exclusion zone. So we actually see that we may have people that are not aware that they're in a five metre zone, but take a step back and actually have a think about whether they should be in that zone or not. If the machine was operating on a site and for every day at three o'clock, there was say 50 people that it was detecting and our data was sending data back to say that these people were being detected, it may need that we change the traffic routes around the site because of this data that we're actually picking up. Because there is somebody walking past a five metre zone 50 times a day, we could say that that could potentially be an incident. Okay, so I was actually involved with the trialling of this Spillard human detection system and now it's been fully fitted alongside the 360 camera which is, gives you a great visualisation of people encroaching in your space but now we have the detection system which truly does tell us before noticing on the camera that people can come from even the blind spots the other side of the boom behind the machine and it will warn the operator that that person is indeed there and give you a warning so you can uh, put everything on the ground isolate it and in that case once it's isolated the green thumb comes up and you know it's safe to approach that machine. It's an excellent aid in ensuring that your awareness of any operatives, pedestrians that encroach on the area, whether it be blindside or not, that you're safe in the knowledge that you can deactivate the machine and keep everyone safe, including yourself. So Flannery have been on a journey over the last 12 months with our partner Spillards to look at the benefits of human detection systems and not just the benefit but how you can actually then put that to work in a practical application so we've done various trials looking at the different uh, camera systems camera layouts the alerts and warnings working with the operators to see what they want also what that does at the back end then is via the telematics throws off a load of data so we can use that within flannery's to inform our customers and clients and spillards can use that data then to refine the system 
as we move forward. And it's been that journey of continuous learning, continuous improvements, where both organisations have looked at the issues, looked at the problems, got the feedback, not only just from the operators, but from up to your clients and customers who are specifying human detection systems, so that moving forward, there's a product that's fit for purpose, for the benefit of industry, and improve safety on site. The beauty then of uh, systems like the human detection system from Spillard is you get those instant wins on sites and at projects at local level, but also the telematics is going to help inform people how to plan jobs safely in the future and reduce people plant interface at the planning stage.